Hello, hello, I'm Bryn, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we're gonna to talk about the important role insulin and glucagon have in regulating metabolism. Let's start by taking a look at insulin. Insulin is secreted from beta cells in the pancreas in response to high blood glucose levels. At a macro level, insulin's main job is to decrease the amount of glucose in the blood. One way to decrease blood glucose is to increase the uptake of glucose into different tissues. Insulin helps do this in many different tissues, like muscles, fat, the brain, many others. Insulin also wants to decrease the amount of glucose being put into the bloodstream. This is what we want to keep in mind when we explore how insulin works on regulating metabolism. Let's first focus on how insulin can decrease new glucose from being added to the blood. Well, it could do this through in inhibiting a few processes. It could inhibit gluconeogenesis or glycogenolysis. Now this makes sense because gluconeogenesis would be making new glucose. Well, we have too much glucose. We're not gonna spend energy making new glucose. And glycogenolysis means breaking down glycogen. Well, glycogen is basically stored glucose. Again, we don't want to add more glucose into the blood. We're trying to get rid of it. So it would make sense that insulin is then going to inhibit these processes that would increase the amount of glucose in the blood. So then what will insulin do to glycolysis? Well, it's going to increase glycolysis because this is another good way to decrease the amount of blood glucose and turn it into something useful, in this case, ATP. It's also gonna to wanna to take this excess glucose and store it in the tissues. So the way we store glucose is as glycogen. This means that glycogenesis is going to be increased in response to insulin. Now, let's take a look at glucagon. Glucagon is secreted from alpha cells in the pancreas in response to low glucose in the blood. This is the opposite from when insulin is secreted. The way I remember what glucagon does is it sounds like glucose is gone, gluca gone. Glucose is gone from the bloodstream. And we always wanna have some amount of glucose in the bloodstream to use for energy. So the macro purpose of glucagon is going to be to increase the amount of blood glucose. It will do this by being the opposite of what insulin does. So what this means is that glucagon is going to increase glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. This makes sense because if we are low on glucose, we're gonna to wanna to break down the stored glucose, AKA glycogen, and create new glucose from other sources like fats through gluconeogenesis. On the flip side, glucagon is going to inhibit glycolysis and glyconeogenesis. This makes sense because we don't have excess glucose to burn in glycolysis. And if we are low on glucose, it doesn't make sense to store it in the form of glycogen. These are the important relationships you will need to know to do well on the MCAT. If you can remember that the role of insulin is to reduce the level of blood glucose and that glycogen is to increase the amount of blood glucose, you can then logically figure out what will be happening with glycolysis, glyconeogenesis, glycogenolysis, and glycogenesis. Thank you so much for watching our video on the hormonal control of metabolism, and I will see you next time time.